Having to move your email infrastructure sounds like a nightmare to you? Now, what if I told you that with a proper plan and with the right steps, that nightmare could turn into a smooth and efficient transition process? It's possible. And in this video, we'll show you how to create that plan. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. The first step in any email infrastructure migration should be assessing the email setup. During this step, you'll evaluate the components of your existing email setup, such as configurations, tools, and integrations that are critical to your operations. You'll also take a close look at where your current infrastructure stands, in terms of performance, scalability, and security. Once this step is done, it should give you a solid foundation for creating your migration strategy. As the second step, you should start creating the strategy. Here, you'll need to decide on the type of migration you'll implement, as well as what email infrastructure provider you'll go with. Do keep in mind that sometimes a customized solution might end up being the best for you as off-the-shelf options, even from popular providers, rarely offer everything you need. Depending on your needs for the migration type, you can choose a cutover migration where everything's moved at once a staged migration, which is ideal for phased rollouts, or a hybrid migration, which keeps both old and new systems running in parallel. As for picking the provider, prioritize reliability, deliverability, good support, and analytics. And if you think you'll need assistance during the migration process, then you should also add that to the list of infrastructure provider must-haves. Professionals who migrate to MailTrap, for example, usually do so for the platform's good support, industry best analytics, and the convenience of having an email marketing suite and transactional email sending via API or SMTP included in one subscription plan. On top of that, they also receive help from a team of deliverability experts who are there to assist them through the entire migration process. So in case you decide MailTrap is a good fit for you, check out the links in the description to learn how to start the migration process. Step 3 is a preparatory one, and it involves backing up all critical data. Step 4 is when you finally execute the migration. But before you kick off that process, hit subscribe to stay tuned to all things email. Once you rev up the migration engine and are ready to kick things off, start with pilot testing a small batch of emails to catch potential issues. If everything looks good, you can proceed with the full migration. However, do remember to keep an eye on performance metrics to identify and fix any problems early. After the migration, it's time for step five, verifying the migration's success. During this step, it's essential that you make sure everything flows correctly and all configurations are in place. So check delivery rates, DNS settings, and the overall functionality of the infrastructure. You can also make use of feedback by asking your team to report any disruptions or usability issues. The final step, step six, entails keeping a relaxed eye on the performance of your new infrastructure. So make sure to schedule regular updates, security checks, performance tuning, and backups to avoid performance issues, security risks, and unnecessary downtime. And with that, we wrap up this video. If you need insight into how SMTP authentication is set up, or maybe want to learn the difference between an SMTP relay and an SMTP server, then make sure to check our email infrastructure playlist.